double click the semantic manager. This is basically launching the project and your hardware configuration. To begin with, select the right CPU. Say for this example 319, select ladder, put the project name, for example right over here, one underscore basics, and finally hit finish. Now go back to the semantic manager, main page, double click the hardware config, and here you have the main rack visible. Now we shall be inserting the IO modules. So on the left window under Semantic 300, scroll down further under SM 300 and you find digital input, analog output, analog input, all the modules. You can expand the window and of course you can drag and drop it to the slot number 4. Similarly, drag and drop a digital output module 16 channel to slot number 5. Next, followed by your analog cards, repeat the same process. You can drag and drop it to slot number 6. This is the analog output module 4. And this is important right over here. When you double click the analog card under this new window, the properties, click the outputs so you could see for the individual channel, you have a selection for the voltage or current. And again, on the voltage, you have a different selection. So for this example, let's keep it 0 to 10 volt for all and save and compile. One more thing we had forgotten earlier to do it, to insert a power module in the slot number one. So from the left window, let's select a power module, five amperes, that should be good enough for this application. Place it on the slot number one, save and compile. Next, let's create the Profinet network Double click the PNIO and you could see here under properties IP address. First of all, if you have to change it, you can change it from here. For this example, we are good with 1.1. .1. The most important thing here sub under subnet, not network. So hit new on the right side. And that will basically establish a network with the Profinet device. So now it says network, yes. Select the PNIO, right click, insert Profinet IO system. Next, we have to insert the Profinet network adapter in the Profinet IO system. So on the left, left window, on the Profinet IO, select a ET200S, drag and drop it over the network. Now double click this ET200S. It has got by default the name. You can retype the name. For example, motor power. This is the IP address by default. You should be able to change the IP address by hitting Ethernet. So hit OK, save and compile. Now select the PN adapter. The first thing we have to do here now, inserting a power module. So on the left window, under the same adapter 1513PN, look for PM, which is power module, drag and drop it to slot number one. Now, repeat the similar process for the rest of the modules for digital input module, for example, 8 digital in to slot number 2. You can always drag it and expand the window. And digital output, 4 channel digital output to slot number 3. Always save and compile. Now drag and drop 
the analog input card QAI to slot number 4 and 5. Save and compile. Now double click the analog input module. Select parameters. So over here, you could change it from 4 to 20 milliamperes or plus minus 20 milliamperes. So for this example, let's keep it 4 to 20 milliamperes. Repeat the process, same process for the second analog input card. 